<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's tutorial. So this is part one of uh, my mob tutorial. I'm going to break this in up into several different parts because it's going to be a very, very long uh, tutorial. Um, it's going to take uh, one episode. So this episode, uh, at least for Mac users, this is for Mac users mainly, uh, we're going to set up a, a virtual machine uh, since um, we need to do some modeling. And the only good way to do modeling is with uh, Techni, which is Windows only at the moment. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to work on that, uh, getting that set up. If you're on Windows, you pretty much have to download Techni. I will have links to all that in the description so you can download all that stuff. And get, This is basically going to be our mob setup video. We're going to get all ourselves all set up and everything like that. So we've done that much, uh, or I've said that much. Now we're going to get to it. So first thing we need to do is uh, you need to download VirtualBox. This is Mac users, remember that. Uh, so you need to download VirtualBox. It's a free uh, VM, it's free VM software. So you click down, you go, you go to virtualbox.org. Again, the link will be in the video's description and you can download it for um, OSX hosts. You can download that and run that. Um, and when you do that, you're also gonna want, while you're doing that, you're also wanna get at least for now, this is for the time being until Windows 8.1 is released, you can download the Windows 8.1 preview for free. So if you do not have a copy of Windows uh, that, that you can use, you can download 8.1 and you can use it for free for the time being. They give you the product key here uh, and all that. And 64-bit, uh, you can just run the 32. We don't need the 64, so you can download the 32-bit. It's, it's a one gig smaller. And uh, you can do that. So after you got the, both of those downloaded, you're going to have, and you open up uh, the Oracle uh, Virtual Box Manager, you're going to have this right here, this window right here. Uh, you, you're not going to have a Windows Blue or anything like that in there. You're just going to have a blank bar across here. Uh, so you're going to click New. You're going to name it, let's say, you know, whatever you want, Windows 8. I'm, I'm just going to call my Windows 8. 8.1 blue and uh, you're gonna uh, so it has been updated actually for Windows 8.1 uh, so you can go, click on Windows 8.1 uh, in the in the version but if you do not have Windows 8.1 in the version you can also click 7 and since we're gonna do 32-bit you want to select just just select Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 as you can see this in here says 64-bit 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 you don't want 64-bit for now uh, it's just we're just doing modeling, so we just need a, the basic system, which is Windows 32-bit. Uh, so we can use Windows 8.1, or if you have a copy of, of Windows that you can use that you have laying, laying around the house, you, you can use that as well. Anyway, so I'm I'm going with with Windows 8.1, uh, and click Continue. You're going to allocate some memory for it. I'm just going to stick to the default. Next, uh, you want to create a virtual disk for it. Click Create. Uh, virtual box, virtual box disk image. You want to do that uh, dynamically. Allocate. Uh, yep, you want to have that selected, and then click next, and click create. Now we're not, com we're not totally off to the races yet. Uh, we got a, we got one more thing that we need to do. So this is the one that. So this is mine here. This is the one that we created right now. So we need to have. You need to select that and click settings. And then we need to go over to shared folders. So um, I already have a shared folder set up right here for mine. Um, so basically what, what we're going to use this folder for is after we're done modeling, we need to bring it back into the Mac. So if we have a shared folder, we can just drop it into the shared uh, and then bam, it's done. So, uh, so we can just go, so you can just new folder path. Okay, I'll do that again. So you got this little button over here. You can click on that folder path, click other. It's going to pull up a dialog box to select, go to your desktop or, where, or wherever you're going to have it. And I got to find it here. What is 8.1 share? Choose uh, auto mount, click OK. And OK, that's all set up. You can tinker with all these settings. Like you can go into uh, advanced, you can go under system and you can change your, your base memory. Uh, if you have flop, you know, you can take up, you can turn off the floppy disk because you don't really need it. I went uh, ICH9 for the chipset uh, for mine anyway. 
Uh, you can do all that. You can go into the processor and you can choose up to 16 cores. You know, you got all your different not optimal. It'll even tell you what's optimal and what's not. So apparently I can use eight cores in my, in my, uh, uh, but I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, you can do that and you can also go under acceleration things and go into your, your, uh, your display and choose your different graphical options. Uh, you may want to click 3d Accel or 2d, 3d acceleration, yeah, go 3D acceleration, um, and uh, 128 is fine, because <clears throat> remember, we're just modeling, we don't need to, uh, we don't need to have any of that working, or we don't need to have any of that stuff, uh, and you can have just the one monitor count is fine, storage, so, see right now, it's, see, it's, uh, we're on IDE, but we, actually, you know, we're down here on SATA, which is this one here. So under system, motherboard, we do want to change the chipset to, to ICH9. Might as well. Uh, so we're going to storage. You got your storage. You, can, uh, you can't change the size of it, but we don't really need much. Again, we, we pretty much the bare, uh, the bare, the bare, uh, you know, Whatever the default settings are, pretty much going to be okay. Other than the shared folder, you may want to give it a little bit more RAM so it runs a little bit smoother. Um, I think I ended up giving mine um, system processor. I think I I, ended, I only gave mine one CP one core, but I uh, I'm pretty I, I'm pretty sure I up the amount of RAM that it's got. Uh, blah 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 blah. No, I, actually, no. I, I I didn't change the chipset, so that's fine. So you can leave it where it is. Acceleration is fine. Maybe I didn't change anything with the RAM, or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just uses whatever it needs as it needs it, which is okay. I didn't use uh, 2D acceleration or 3D acceleration. I just used the basic. But you know, you you can customize it to your needs, whatever you want it to have. I'm just gonna delete this because I no longer need it. So I'm going to remove it, delete all files. So after you got that, you're going to start it up. It's a normal Windows setup from there. Um, um, actually, not completely. So I'm going to go cre create that again. Windows 8.1. Uh, next. Fine, fine. Fine, fine, fine. So when you start it, so you're going to click start. It's going to power it up. It's going to give you some stuff. So uh, the left, uh, so it's going to give you some auto capture keyboard stuff and things like that. You can read through that if you wish. So basically, it's going to ask you the, for the startup disk. So we're going to say it's already in here for me, but if it's not, you can just click on this little, that on that little folder, and then you can select that Windows Blue uh, or that Windows 8.1 um, um, uh, install that you downloaded. You can click on that and click Start and install it, and it's going to be all good to go. Um, and I'm just going to click Cancel. We don't need to. Yeah, no bootable. That's fine because I didn't tell it to boot, which is all good. I might just turn off. Let's go close. Power off the machine. I'm just going to delete it anyway. Canceling. We have to wait for that to complete. So then you basically you you go through the normal Windows startup process. Everything's you know the same, and then you're going to get yeah failed to copy whatever. <laughs> right click remove. Delete the files as well. So this is what we're loading up right here. This is Windows 8 point uh, whatever. I'm going to close these extra tabs. I can't from there, and I don't want to pull them up on my display. Actually, I can just close the browser altogether. I don't need any, any of it up at the moment. That's going to release some RAM. So I had a fair few tabs open there. All right, so we're gonna, it's going to start up the machine. So after you've installed it and you went through the normal install process, you're going to be in, and then uh, we're going to go in, and I will show you where to get 
Techni. I did try to port Techni over to Mac, at least, you know, to create like a wine bottle that we could run it in. Uh, but that was not possible. I'm using a uh, little snitch um, on my computer. Um, so switch to password. And I'm not going to show you guys any of that stuff. Um, now it might be a little bit slow on here uh, since I am running. Uh, I am recording while I'm doing this. So it's going might take a, a lot of stuff. Um, so I've set this up as Chakrins YouTube, and I already have Techni here, as you can see right there. Um, if you, you won't have this shortcut to your, your share uh, automatically, okay, empty the trash. Yes. So all you need to do to get that is click on the Windows icon uh, under Network. Or, yeah, under Compute, under this PC, you'll have this right here. You, just wanna, you can just click and drag. And it's going to create a link in the desktop, and there you go. You got uh, um, you got an icon. You got a, a shortcut to your to your uh, your um, shared drive. So you've so uh, so make sure that you've uh, installed all your updates and things like that. So you have all the latest stuff uh, for Windows so that it runs the best that it can. And then and then you can just open up your web browser, which is going to be Internet Explorer because that's all we need. We don't need anything really superior here and we're just going to type in here we're just going to go to google.ca since i am canadian and we're going to search for techni minecraft again i'll have the link in the description to download this uh techni.zooks.me slash techni so i'm actually gonna so you're going to download this um I wonder if I could delete all of its temporary files too. So, okay, so basically the way this works is you download this application and then it basically creates like a temporary directory on your computer and that's where it runs from. That's how, that's why it was so hard to port because it wasn't an application you download and install. It's in the program files and, oh, you can just use this. It runs a little bit weird. I think they, they did that so you can't easily port it maybe, but uh, that's fine. You're, you're, anyway, you're going to click on download. It's going to give you um, techni.application. I'm going to save it to a different location, to my desktop, and click Save. And it should download pretty much right away because it's very small. And then basically you run that. You open that up, and it's going to uh, verify the application. It's going to download things that it needs, and then it's going to launch. You should get this T up on your screen when it starts launching. And this is Techni. So this is what we got here. So that's it. And... Uh, um, so then now we're ready to make our model or we're, we're, we're ready to do modeling. You can play around with this if you wish and tinker around uh, while you wait for the next tutorial, which should be going up tomorrow because uh, this one is going to be going up today on Wednesday. And then I should have another one up either tomorrow or Friday moving into the actual modeling process of modeling our custom uh, mob and such. I'm not sure what we're actually going to do yet for our, our custom mob, but we will see. And uh, we will go from there. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Shakurudin's Forge Modding Guide Tutorials.